New Zealand. Known internationally for its culture, its nightlife, and of course RJ's, the world's finest licorice. Behind every great achievement, there's a mildly interesting story. And for father and son duo, Roger and Regan, creators of RJ's licorice, there's no exception. The year's 1983. Roger gets bored with retirement and realises his future is made of licorice. After a bit of wheeling and dealing, he acquires a rather nice factory in Laverne, just right for making the black stuff. Meanwhile, over an old blighty, the son Regan is working as a chef, enjoying life perhaps a little too much. Then suddenly, a vision appears. And Regan knows what he has to do. He jets off to New Zealand with nothing more than a hangover and a dream. But on the way, there's one quick detour. Meeting Roger in the cosmopolitan metropolis of Fargo, North Dakota. They peruse over a selection of second-hand licorice cookers stored in an old grain bar. After some hard negotiations, over a few Long Island iced teas and a bowl of three cheese soup, they buy them and return to New Zealand. Armed only with a pair of gumboots and a snug pair of stubbies, they set about building a confectionery empire. Over a barbecue and a few beers to a creativity. A name for this enterprise is chosen. They use Regan's initials, Regan James. RJ's is born. Long nights are spent in the lab, dreaming up new and even more adventurous licorice treats. But at last, the dream becomes a reality. Loved the world over, RJ's becomes the gold standard of licorice. After all these years, RJ's is still a family-run business, producing the best licorice money can buy and making the world a better licorice place.